Gather round, 841. First things first, check out that live shot from the Century Plaza Hotel and Spa on Burrard Street. And second of all, say hello to Lara Victoria, here to help us properly stock our liquor cabinets just in time for the early part of the holiday season. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Let's start with the wines. Well, as you know, it is the season. And it's not just about, um, you know, your guests, but it's also about hosts and being stocked in your liquor cabinet as well as hosting parties. For wines, keep it simple. Have one white wine, one red wine. And for white wines, you don't want something that's too acidic or too oaky, so go with something that's food friendly, like a Pinot Grigio or a Viognier. For a red wine, stick with something uh, perennial favorite, Malbec. You know Malbec. Everyone loves Malbec. Or a Petit Syrah. I like to pretend you. I know what wine connoisseurs are talking about. <laughs> oh, Malbec. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love of course, that one. yeah, yeah. Well, you've had it. Yeah. Had, I'm sure we've had it. A the Grenache is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And we've also got some, uh, we've also got a lovely Grenache here, which is a good option. It's very food friendly. But if you don't want to make a decision, just go to any liquor store and get either a white blend or a red blend and you're done. Now there's a little tip by the way. If you're hosting a party, try to stick with bottles that have screw caps. I was going to ask about that. You know, it's, it doesn't mean it's poor quality at all. Some good wines come with screw caps. Okay. And in fact, you don't want to be running around your house chasing for a corkscrew when you need to entertain your guests. Great. Good tips yeah. for being a host or hostess. Yeah. And then we've got some sparkling wine because nothing says f Christmas season without some sparkles. You don't have to go out and get some expensive champagne but a lovely Prosecco or a classically made Cava is a brilliant option. So could you suggest maybe a good price range? Yeah, you don't have to go any, anywhere between 15 to $20 is a really good price range. Okay. You, you have some really good quality ones under 15 as well, 10 to 15 so just shop around. There are options. So $9.99 back away? You No, actually, you'll be surprised. There are some really good deals at $9.99 too. Ask your local liquor stores and they'd be able to help you. All right, wonderful. Moving yeah. on as we learn more about properly stocking our liquor cabinets for the holiday season. We also have some beer. We need some beer. Now, it's not a beer tasting, so just go to the liquor, liquor stores. And this time of year, they have all these beautiful party packs and advent calendars. Yes. Something like this is perfect. You know, it's already got a mix, and it will do the job for you. And you'll have a little something different for people to choose from. And a lot of times, there are some seasonal choices in this, too. You, you don't get them any other time of year, so why not use them now? Perfect. Next, we also need our spirits, so you don't have to go crazy. If you have a clear spirit like a vodka, mm -hmm. it's great with mixers. Gin um, is, is totally in right now, so make sure you have some gin in your cabinet. There's always a rum lover, so keep, make sure you have some rum. And for whiskey lovers, depending on your budget, you could either go with a scotch or a bourbon, or why not support our wonderful local Canadian whiskeys as well. You know, when I see all of that, I, immediately the hostess anxiety sort of comes up in me, and I think, am I going to be back there mixing drinks that I don't know how to drink? So I know you do recommend doing a signature drink to kind of keep it simple. That is the easiest way. Have some pre-mixed signature drink, a little garnish, and you said it adds character to your party. And and you know what? It's easy on the budget, too. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> okay, speaking of garnishes, I know you've got some great ones uh, set up here. I've never, what is the, what is with the, the raspberries You there? know, the theme of this entire thing is to keep it simple. So that's some rosemary from my garden, and I just put, put a bit of a, uh, a raspberry at the very end of it, and now we've got a very pretty looking cocktail stir over there. Add some aromatics, and of course, you can also munch on the strawberry. Uh, we've got some uh, lovely waves made with cucumber slices as well. Now, what would you do? Would you dip that in or just lay it across just the Just lay it across, actually. Why don't you try it up there? All right, don't just put it across one. Over. Look how oh, pretty that looks. That looks so beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. simple, and yet it dresses it up completely. Now, part of uh, holiday planning is also being a responsible host. So make sure you have plenty of non-alcoholic options, um, lots of food, lots of water, so the guests can stay hydrated. And if you can put some signs around your home that say, uh, do not drink and drive, or they can ask you to call them a ride if they need, that way you're responsible and your guests are safe. I'm so glad that you brought that up because it really is part of the stress of throwing, let's say, a holiday party. You Absolutely. are responsible for your guests. You are. So you do recommend actually putting Putting up a sign. You know, I put one right on the inside of the front door, one in the bathroom, one right by the bar, so people can't miss it, and they know to call you or to ask you, "Hey, I need a ride," and you can do that. For me. I've even seen uh, in Ladner, my hometown, right now, they've put up the signs for uh, you know all of the organizations yeah. that are offering rides. Absolutely, yes, yes. There's so many. Just go online and look up some because they are very useful to have. And as a guest, it's not as a host actually, it's not a bad idea to have some phone numbers handy for people to just call the taxi, taxi they need. And real quick before we wrap things up, Laura. 
a great idea, even if you are the host, to provide some gifts? Yeah, well, this is actually just to keep for yourself some a special <laughs> gift. Okay. <laughs> I keep it for myself. I think I deserve it. But here we have a beautiful vermouth from Spain. There is a whiskey omeshi from Japan and a beautiful, another beautiful product from Spain, which is a gin right now. These are new and special products in the market. So you could certainly treat yourself and treat your guests as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Is it too soon to say Merry Christmas? Uh, not at all. In fact, keep it simple this holiday season. Be safe and happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you for joining us. It continues.